was playing around and uh, I decided to put this on and it made a bit of a difference because the power supply blew up this side's okay this side blew up I know it was that side and all the smoke came out the back and um, that went a funny colour like a yellow and that just switched off so I'm pretty confident that's going to be okay be interesting to see uh, what the real damage is on that I don't understand the language eyes Shift it all the way and take a peek. Oh, look. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Well, maybe it's not the actual, um, maybe it's not this. Can't see where that fuse is blown or not because this is actually from here. That's from the display. Because look, that's where the handle would go in the side there. So that's from the display. The switch has already died. I've um, the, the, that, that this I don't know if anyone's noticed when I've been looking over across at this that it's sitting in the off position, but the, the actual switch itself is is dead. It doesn't switch off anymore. It just stays on. So because this one still works fine. Um, look, we've still got power at the back, and I've still got power here, just haven't got a display. So the boost converter is still working. Hey, this is still working, brilliant. Old RD tech. There you go, man. And uh, But this is dead. Never mind. So I've, uh, I just nicked this out of that supply there. Don't really need it at the moment. Um, Acts like a bit of a backup, really you now, but it's great because I can run it from my battery or from these. But you know, I digress. So I'm going to put this in there, but in order to prevent this, because what's happened, I'm pretty sure is it's just um, it's burnt out of the display. Yeah, move the light a bit more. So in order to prevent that from happening, because at the minute this has got 36 volts coming in. A 24 DC. I put a 24 volt regulator on them because this has got up to 30 volts, but it's not happy with 36, obviously. And with you know, this type of load, I presume, doesn't help. Um, so I put a 24 volt regulator on there, and rather than fanning about with you know, a little board or anything, don't need anything. Just need the uh, the regulator and at the side here. So you can see that that's the output. So I can take ground from anywhere else. I'll take the ground from here probably, just for ease. Um, and then just put the positive wire for the display side of this. These ones onto that, and then just have that connected uh, as usual. I've left the wires there to connect to there. That's just shut off the uh, probably a, maybe a little bit of just tarnish and colour from the heat damage. And that should be it. That should put pay to hopefully um, that happening again. Because I was worried that if I put another one in, it's going to happen again. And it's because you know we've got a 30, 30 volt limit on the actual display itself. And that 24 volt regulator will do that. There's hardly any power. This will hardly be drawing any power. The regulator is good. You know, first it's, it's going to be alright for 100 milliamp, possibly without a heat sink. And if I find it just gets too warm, I'll stick a heat sink there. But you know. Yeah, okay, I've been playing around with this for quite a bit now. Even tried changing the well, not changing the air coils, just putting extras on and just seeing if it makes any difference. And very minute, if anything you can tell, changing all the things that go around. So what I'm going to do now is, because I can see the sort of distance of sparks we can get off this, uh, the way it is with this circuit, I'm just going to swap that circuit now for, for this one. And I won't be keeping any of this, or the resistors, or these. It is literally just going to go on, it's got a centre tap on here. We're going to connect here, we're going to power it here, give it 12 volts, see what it's like, and um, just keep the rest the way it is, and see what happens. 
where it is connected up. And all I'm going to do now is just stick some power on it. It's a bit crammed, but that will do. I got that going to there. So I'm just going to connect this up. And nothing. That probably means that one of these isn't connected properly. Oh no, it doesn't. It means I forgot to put a capacitor. Okay, so that 12 volts then, this doesn't really do anything. You can see it's the same there. So we just turn it up a little bit. Uh, go to 15 volts. There we go. Try that. And of course, if I take it to 18 volts, I'll just make that a little bit wider, uh, the gap on the spark for 18 volts. Okay, then we'll see what it's like with that. So it seems like in this configuration, even I just, just run it at 20 volts there, just for a, a few seconds, just to see what it's like, and it's no real big difference. In yeah, actual fact, I'll do it now. There's no real big difference. It's not as though you get a big jump across here or anything, but it is faster, of course. faster but it's good it's got that little extra it's a bit of a safety doesn't it you could probably do with a safety uh something like that somewhere that's something i didn't put on those other resistors uh, on those other components on your board so it's not really doing a great deal extra i like that even at 20 volts you can hardly see that jumping across you can see a little tiny bit maybe you should turn up that back light there, give it a fighting chance. Let's have a look so we can see it now. A little bit. I just discharge. It's me really discharging it. That's a lot better, isn't it? Okay, I can I reckon I can move that back a bit. Okay, we can just nudge that back. It's uh, the little bits that make the difference. Okay, let's just discharge. Let's charge that, that's good. Press pause there, so I shouldn't. I'm just gonna just a little tiny, tiny bit for just about a little bit of extra. Um, see, that's uh, it's pretty makes a bloody much noise, doesn't it? Think of some pots and uh, have a bit more beer. Didn't notice that that's uh, that's gone again. But if you turn it off and then turn it back on, it's uh, it's all right. It recycles. It does that every time. I'm going to turn the power down just a little tiny bit and see if it will still be as good. Because look, 25 volts is quite a bit, really, isn't it? Uh, where's the power button? How do we do this? I've forgotten. There we go. So. I down to 20. Give that a go. Oh. Yeah, that's quite nice. And it's using less voltage, 20 volts. Okay, let's see if we can get down a little bit further. Let's go down to 18. Oh. 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 It's 
knocked out the power supply. Boom, boom, boom. I've still got power going in. That's my power there. But we won't tap any power there. How do I generate it again? Uh, I've got some faffing about. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's not this, at least I don't think it is at this stage. Um, I've got 28 volts coming out both sides of this, but every time I connect this one in, um, it shorts out. Now, on the secondaries, it seems to be okay, 8 ohms, uh, 0.8, sorry. But here, I think it's 0.2 ohms, uh, 2 ohms, and it's just shorting out every time. I'll just check it again, show you. Uh, 2.3 ohms. What do you think it'd be? I don't know. That's okay, but it's different to the other one. This one uh, is more like sort of 8 ohms. But it's working. Well, I say it's working, it's not short enough. I've not actually connected up to it to anything just at the minute. Because I just kept short and so I'm just mm. okay. It's a little over ten ohms. Look on here. Just do it a minute again. Three ohms, big difference. And it's just shorting out. It's just blowing the fuse in the plug socket every time I connect up. So that's no good the way it is. There we go. Let me just connect to number one. We have resumed power. Hey! Yeah, that's it for tonight, man. Right? A few good sparks.